KETK News. You're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining me now is Kat. She is with the SPCA of East Texas, and she's brought just the sweetest little guy. Who is this, Kat? This is Peter. Peter. Yes, Peter is um, about two and a half years old. He is a rat terrier mix, and he came out of a um, overcrowding situation. I think we've brought some of the other dogs mm -hmm. on, actually. Um, when he came to us, he was almost hairless. Uh, mm -hmm. He was having some stress and, and uh, was missing a lot of hair and was a little skinny. Now he's a little chunky. Yeah. <laughs> and he's getting his fur back. He is happy and, and healthy, he is that boy. a happy little dog. <laughs> and I really, I love his coat. He's got kind of like that dark face with some orange markings and then on the back he's got these big old spots on him that are just so cute. Yeah. Well, how old is he? He's um, about two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, okay, so he's ready for his forever home. He is and he's super active. Uh, you know, I have to stress that because he is super active. Super active. Active. <laughs> <laughs> so he would do good with a family, you know, that's 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 active or that can um, run and play ball with them and yeah. things like that. Maybe some kids would yeah. be a, kids a would really be great. great brothers and sisters for this little guy right here. Now, can you tell us where can people go to learn more about him and maybe see about even adopting him? Yeah, so they could go to our website, um, www.spcaeasttx.com, and uh, you click on the adoptable dogs, and it'll show you all their little bios and pictures, and then. And um, from there, you can fill out an application and mm -hmm. we can get you in to meet them. Yeah, and it's definitely important to make sure to put all your information on that application because really not is. only do you want to make sure he's a great fit for you, but you've got to be a great fit for him as well. Exactly. What kind of... Yeah. Uh, what kind of people do you guys kind of look for in those applications? You know, if um, we, we look to make sure that uh, we check your vetting history to mm -hmm. make sure, you know, you've always vetted your dog properly. And um, uh, we look, some dogs need bigger fences than others mm -hmm. and things like that. So, I mean, you know, some dogs need more attention. So if you work really long hours, this dog might not be a fit for you or this one will. So we just try to, you know, go through and, and, and hit all the points and try to make sure that we get a good fit. All right, because while he needs a home, of course, he needs to make sure it's a good home. He needs the proper home. And something I want to talk about since Christmas is this weekend <laughs> is a lot of people um, decide to gift people puppies. Can you tell us a little bit about um, about this situation? You know, I, I get it. Everybody wants to have something small and cuddly mm -hmm. on Christmas morning, but when you're giving a, a, an animal to another person, it's it's like giving a baby to another person. Yeah. You need to make sure they mesh, you know, and it's a good thing. That person really needs to pick their own animal, yeah. and you need to make sure that they're ready for the responsibility because it is a responsibility. It's, it's just like having a kid, you know. You you don't want to get it and get it all used to you and then have to bring it back, you know. Yeah. That's bad for you and for the animal. So, you know, if, if you're wanting to gift an animal to somebody, I suggest you, you reach out to your shelter or whoever you're going to get it from and get maybe a gift card or you know say I'm going to pay the adoption fee and let them go and pick their own animal. Yeah and uh, do you guys usually see an uptick of animals being brought back to you guys uh, within the following months after Christmas? We do we do usually the end of January or somewhat into February you know we'll start getting a well it's bigger than I thought it was or my kids didn't take care of it mm -hmm. and you know and, and so it's 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 a you know especially for parents if you want to give it to your child you need to make sure that if your child doesn't want to walk it feed it and clean up after it that you're willing to do that it's yeah. a commitment it definitely is it's a lifelong commitment so definitely think about it if you're going to gift a pet but remember if you've been thinking about having a pet and uh, wanting to add one to your <laughs> lifestyle and you have time Adopting a pet is a great idea, especially this sweet boy right here. He needs a good home. Oh, for yeah, Christmas. we have we have a, a, a mess of great pets right now. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming thank in. You. Thanks for introducing us to Peter. We appreciate it.